Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 376. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, the hiatus is over. BronyCon just passed. Quote unquote, just passed as of this recording. And seems that BronyCon was a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, report. Uh, sorry, um, got reports from Torterra that he met with Silver and indeed he got through with Silver Quill's blue Pokeballs. Yes, uh, it's on Terra's Instagram, so you guys should go check it out. Yeah, go, go follow Terra to see that mess. Also, uh, the Sea Pony Con crew was there too, or Project Sea Pony Con was there. And Daniel took pictures with a lot of people, especially Silva. And other than that, I wish I was there. Oh man, I am, I am missing all the fun right now. Mm. Well, it can be helped. So, well, let's get into the news because it is a bit of a short news week. And well, since BronyCon is still around, I guess, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens later on but anywho um <coughs> let's hit on to the first news and first news is uh, a bit of extra insight about the future of equestria goes from nikon flown so last week i think i reported that uh nikon flown said that equestria girls has quote-unquote ended with the special being the last and he on in this recent tweet he clarifies things like I I would add the following sorry I would add the following first there is still more amazing shots coming soon second I was not explicitly told there will not be more equestria girls but our plans for a season finale were set aside I haven't heard anything about it getting renewed for a new season. Alright. Uh, this explains a bit. This this clarifies a, bit, a few things. Because um, when he said that his plans were dashed out or something like that, you would assume that, yeah, his project or whatever, his plans were cancelled and the special sunsets backstage pass was the last one it still could be but we got no idea but for this one what he's explaining is that yeah that quote was quote unquote the last one before he could carry on with this project so the idea for him was yes uh, we'll put that as the footnote for the end of quote unquote the season before we carry on to the finale for Equestria Girls so right now it's still up in the air if it's still there or not <coughs> but he did follow up his tweet with another one uh, does, uh, does this mean Equestria Girls is gone forever? I can't say for certain I mean for years there was not going to be a Star Wars movie and they were more Star Wars movie. My point is Hasbro is a huge company and anything is possible. I'm sorry if sorry I'm sorry this news came through as sorry came through a casual tweet like this <laughs> like it did. It was not my intention to be flippant because running Questria Girls has been an amazing experience. I know I speak for everyone who worked on it when I say that we appreciate you, the fans, more than you could possibly know. You are incredible creative powerhouses and we thank you for coming along this ride with us. You are all magical. XO, XO, XO. So yeah, what he says is also true, but I'll say this, I'll say this. As for now, they are going to be more equestrial short. Will they be a follow up after that with a more well rounded or more book end ending to the series? 
we got no idea because Nick Kier said that, quote unquote, the Sunset's backstage pass was the last. So what I can say is that we'll just have to wait and see where, or we we'll just have to wait and see if Hasbro wants to re up it. But in all honesty, I personally feel that they should because Equest Struggles is one of those IPs or intellectual properties that it's kind of interesting because when it first came out during 2014, 13, something like that, when Pony was in its third season, uh, I don't remember, but when it was first shown, people were afraid, people were really confused and people were angry because this is not the pony movie I want. This is ridiculous. This is just them trying to sell more pony dolls because we also want our own quote-unquote Monster High. And yeah, it felt that way at the beginning, but once the story was out or once the movie was out, people seemed to be split. And when Rainbow Rock came out, people really latched on to Sunset because the redeemed character, she tried her best to be a good character, sorry, good person. And uh, what pushed her was that, hey, I can be good too, look at me, kind of thing. And you know what? Yeah. After that, everybody latched onto her and everybody really, really enjoys the sunsets. So, as for the future of this show or this series I would say yeah continue on like this is a lot of fun like at least complete it oh sorry um, at least complete it nicely make, make it cool like just bookend it properly because you're doing that with ponies Equest Struggles is kind of a one-off or kind of a um What's the thing I'm looking for? But now, it's just a passing, something like that. But at least give it a proper send-off. Because if you really love your brands or you really take care of them, you should really, really do something nice for it. You know what I mean? But that's besides the point. And the last news for this week is kind of lame. Lame. <laughs> so anywho... Uh, new Christmas tree rainbow dash ornament hits Walmart. So, yay, it's still August. Halloween hasn't even come yet, and we are. Uh, my goodness. So, Christmas, right? So, Hallmark has been doing a lot of this, and I, for one, am not a Christmas guy because. Um. I live in Malaysia. Malaysia doesn't really have all the Christmas trees and whatnot. So yeah, um, that's, that's besides the point. Uh, my point is, Hallmark has been doing a lot of ornaments from the little figures to this, this um, flat steel, um, I, I don't know what it's called. But it looks really interesting. And I would say that if you guys like the ponies and you guys want to try something new I say go get him like this looks not bad this, this reminds me of the ah uh, yeah 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 um, this reminds me of the we love find keychains I wonder if I have them around here or not huh, I, I do remember having them but I don't remember where I kept them it's one of those things where um, where are they are they here? Mm. Um, they're not in here, so meaning there's got to be someplace else. Yes. Uh, but like I was saying, you could do them like keychains because it's flat. Like it's a flat piece of sheet. Um, I won't say sheet metal. It's just a flat piece of metal carved into the shape of Rainbow Dash. And it has a hook or holder on top of her head. So what you could do is remove the string, 
get a keychain and put it on. Voila, you get your own pony keychains. It is a really good idea. You you guys should try it out. Like you guys who wants a pony keychain should go get it. Like if I were there, I would try. Yeah. Huh. Pretty cool. It it was not that lame. So how much are they? That's the real question. Mm, no, no, they haven't stayed anything. So yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. Um, bit of a short one, but <coughs> let's go on to my favorite topic of the week. What have I been doing with my week? And this week has been a bit of a dull one. Nothing interesting happened. Nothing really cool happened. And let's see. Uh, haven't been doing anything really. I've been playing. Oh yeah, games. <coughs> <laughs> I I've been replaying Bayonet. I think I told you this one. Yeah. Okay. Um. There's something new. I've stated a lot of times that I do not like to play mobile games because I think they're how I put this. They're kind of not that great. If you really want to play video games, you should go get a console. But I do understand the point where. You get your you bought a phone. The phone is about um, let's just say three hundred dollars, probably. I'm not sure four, five hundred, maybe, depending on whatever it is. I'm just spitballing here, and you're not gonna spend another three hundred dollars on a PlayStation Four or a uh, Nintendo Switch or a Xbox One. So. At least with a phone, you can lug it around. It's with you all the time, so I can see the convenient factor there. And yeah, my my personal stance is I love to play video games on a console or a PC. But recently, I have been hooked on this one game. <laughs> um, let me. Okay, let me see if I can do this. And you know what? I'm just gonna mute it. So. Yeah, I've been hooked on this one game, and that is the. Hmm. Come on. Uh, no. Okay. So, anyway, it is the um, My Little Pony. Bu- 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 buddies. What was it called again? Pocket ponies. Yes, the pocket ponies, and it is a addictive game. Yeah, and oh well, I am not doing a good explanation. But anyway, um, the game is a quote-unquote action puzzle game where you shoot balls at enemies to destroy them. Uh, if you've played Puzzle Bobble, it's similar to that, in but instead of uh, shooting them and collecting to destroy a match three kind of game, this one is. Basically, you get your ponies. They shoot balls at the enemies. I would say it's equivalent to dodgeball, in a sense. And the game starts off you picking one of the student six. You can either pick Sandbar, Gallus, Ocellus, Silverstream, Yona, and also Smaller. I pick Gallus because I think he's kind of cool. <laughs> Um, so the game it's basically free to play but I won't say pay to win here's, here's the nice balancing act that they did what they did was you're not required to buy or you're not required to spend much or spend any money on the game you can play it as it is but there are certain challenges that requires you to get certain ponies or certain uh, set of ponies and those are essentially okay um, if you want to complete this level you need to have a green bottom pony um, how do I put this just imagine a and the base of her thing is supposed to be green 
So you need to have a green based pony to attempt the challenge. If you can't, you cannot attempt the challenge at all. So you were thinking so sorry. So you would think, okay, how am I supposed to do this? Should I buy the ponies? Here's the evil part. Getting these ponies are a random chance. Like it's a the Japanese term would be gacha. Like gacha pawn and so on, like you know those capsule toys so but that's right. So you can spend gems to go buy or go try and get the ponies. And the thing is there is a daily challenge where not really daily challenge, a daily login where after four hours you'll get something. Uh, at first you'll get gems, three gems, then you get coins, three hundred coins, gems, coins, and then you get a free pony, a random pony. So this is how you can slowly accumulate ponies without paying and sometimes you get free gems in the game by just playing and stuff so you can spend those gems to try and get ponies of the matching colors and so on and i find it very fascinating and it's kind of fun like i'm noticing that okay i really don't have to spend money but I feel like if I do spend the money, I can get the ponies or try to get the ponies that I want. And that is the genius part there where you don't really need to spend much or you don't really need to spend. But if you do, do spend, it'll be quote unquote easier for you, wouldn't it? And yeah, yeah, no, no, you're not going to trick me. And besides, um, I'm playing on my Android phone, which is not my main phone. So basically, I haven't hooked up my payment method. So yeah, you're not going to get any cash from me. <laughs> okay, so that's been my lunatic week. Oh, I have a question for you guys. If you notice back here, we have two derpies. And my question to you guys is, which toys do you prefer? Because I heard a lot of people really hate the Funko Pops. Second, as get in frame. So, a lot of people dislike the Funko Pops because of how they look. Because they look like how do I put this? They're soulless toys that looks into your soul and tries to suck it out. But I feel like certain Funko figures works. Um, Derpy not so much But I kind of like it And Because it's Derpy I think she's cute So yay I bought this for seventeen ninety. I wonder where Dollars or Could be dollars Singapore dollars that is So anyway um, What do you guys think Like Do you prefer Funko Pops Or Things like this The Equestria Girls Mini <coughs> And yeah, the, the the minis are, or this version of the minis are um, opposable. Like you can move her arms, legs, and so on. Then, like that's a better pose of her, and there's no glare. So, which guys? Sorry, which one do you guys prefer, or do you just prefer the brushables, like the? Like old tempers here. That's for pony toys or figures. Or do you guys like the toys from Kotobukiya or the Good Smile Company? Uh, the Good Smile Company does a lot of figures for, uh, well, popular stuff like uh, Marvel, animes, and games. Let me see, give me a second. Like. Uh, Okay, a good example is this one. Give it a second, let me pop up to the... Yeah, these are figures from the Ghost Smile Company. It really, it, it's much better looking. It, it looks really nice. But the thing is, they're stupid expensive. Like, I think one of these 
it's going to cost around for me personally 300 ringgit i think 300 or was it 100 plus i i don't remember but still figure like this is going to cost a lot of money so my question to you guys at home is which do you prefer in terms of your pony toys and if the good smile company does do the pony toys and so on for now they don't so let's rule that one out so is it the kotobukiya figure the funko pops the hasbro uh, my little pony equestrial minis or the brushables so which one do you let me switch this one right so which one do you prefer like do you prefer cheap and available or expensive yet good quality personally for me i really like the minis the, the minis are one of those figures where yeah it's mass produced so there's going to be uh, some flaws here and there but they're really cool they're really uh, how to put it because they're opposable you can do much of them and you can post them and so on i i seen people uh, bring them along trips and just post them for their trips so that's cool um, for me personally i'll pick the minis over the funko pop but like i mentioned before i do have a few oh my goodness the brushables not so much for me because i don't really like to brush the mains that's the turn off for me when it comes to picking toys like this because i i don't like to deal with those hairs that like i need to brush them and so on no they're not my thing so what about you guys um do you guys prefer figures pops minis or brushables do comment down below and i'll interact with you it'll be fun i, I would love to know the last time i did this was what was it again damn i'm, I'm getting old i don't remember but yeah let's let's check it out anywho uh, if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the com. you can also reach us on the twitter the show's twitter account is at the mbs show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polyvlive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also don't forget to review. Sorry. <laughs> also don't forget to uh, subscribe to our review and discussion podcast available on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Seven Heart Songs, Totera, Review Pony Episodes, Comics, and also Specials. Sometimes we like to go beyond the comfort zone of the ponies and do stuff like animes, comics, and also movies. Recently, we reviewed Little Witch Academia, The Enchanted Parade, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be doing the whole series soon enough. And after that's done, we'll try and do something else. Who knows? There, there is a lot. There is a lot of options out there. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's other day access to the review and discussion podcast, re- exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Starstream, Master of Black and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. You guys have been great. And I'll catch you guys next week. See ya.